Welcome back, everyone. Here are some highlights from the past seven days. Terra Luna is in for a major shocker. Three capitalists who have ties to Terra's founder blame overconfidence for the company's demise, according to a report. The founder of crypto hedge fund Three Arrow Capital, which recently began operations after a five-week absence, has returned to the company's headquarters. There's a lot going on, happening. Please hit the like button if you agree. I'll keep you posted and offer my thoughts as they develop. Apparently, this is a critical piece of information. That, my friends, is the real thing. Due to a multi-year bull market, the couple acknowledged to overconfidence in running the company. Because of their closeness to Terra founder Laquan, I'm aware that they were astonished. Taking on this undertaking comes with a significant amount of danger. The algorithmic stablecoin collapsed. Zhu and Davis said they were blinded by their familial ties to multiple red flags. Then there was this other thing. Terra's creator, Quan, whose closeness to them led them to miss many red flags in a project that ended up costing them millions of dollars, is clearly a mystery to them. And that's only the beginning. That would appear to be the most significant event of the past seven days. As more and more things take place, that's what everyone was speculating about. Isn't three of Arrow Capital down now? They'd been gone for six weeks and were overconfident. So they predicted that $500 million in investment would eventually go down the drain. Terra Luna was exposed to three arrow capital, which had three arrow caps on it. Everyone, please be exceedingly cautious. Terra Classic has undergone a major transformation. In hindsight, we could have seen that, you know, this approach potentially could have developed and that it has evolved so quickly. Many initiatives balloon out of control. They didn't mention Luna by name. There is little doubt that this was a setback for the term. When Bitcoin went below $20,000, the real problems began. A company could now get access to more credit for a past due claim. Everything returned to normal after the collapse, which helps to explain we're just going about our business as usual throughout this time. When Bitcoin dropped from $30,000 to $20,000 on that fateful day, it was a crushing blow for us and a final nail in the coffin. To learn more about their whereabouts and the circumstances surrounding their absence, we set out to find them. Death threats have been blamed for their need to go into hiding. But the founders insist that Lola is not to blame for their decision to relocate. We're also seeing Majing talk about an FTS or ban them for that reason at the moment. An insider trading complaint with the SEC might have far-reaching ramifications now that it has listed nine security tokens on its list. The fact that they've labeled nine crypto assets as securities is something I hadn't seen before, and I'm not familiar with even half of these tokens. According to my understanding, the Tesla stock sell-off has significant implications, which the experts explain in contrast to Coinbase's product manager. Experts, on the other hand, have been mostly unmoved by Elon Musk's actions. Nobody cares whether they sold their Bitcoins because no one is interested in it. It was viewed as a diversion from the company's primary objective of selling automobiles. And then, according to Musk, he said, Let's buy a Bitcoin. There is no doubt about that, according to the specialist. Because of the macroeconomic situation, a financial consultation site Finder Share Expert indicated that many companies can choose to shore up their capital in cash currencies. Many of these items will not be able to be dissolved in water. The move has been labeled a nothing burger by some Twitter users, meaning that Tesla's move is insignificant. I mean, it really doesn't matter. 75 were sold. Of course, when the economy is in a downturn, they'll be selling it off. However, in the immediate future, $1 million was bid on the Amazon Auditorium, which belonged to an anonymous OpenSea user on Tuesday, and he did respond. He could have been inactive. Next in line for the domain was a bidding war of $6,300. So, I'm baffled as to why Amazon would do this. The Ethereum network was virtually dormant. I don't know if he saw it or not. Perhaps he simply declined the offer of $1 million, which is equivalent to their own name. And there were a lot of things people were saying. Like there have been so many, so many things. According to BidTrader, the price of Bitcoin has risen by 25% in the past week. And as a result, it might reach $1,000 or $20,000 by the year 2023. So, at this very moment, for example, the crypto market could be in for some terrible news as a whole. As far as I know, a lot of huge firms were tied to classics like this. And that's what's really going on behind the scenes. Let me know what you think about this. 
because this week has been a whirlwind and there has been a lot going on. This is what I'm witnessing right now. A lot of people are willing to go for what they want. As a result, this is a truly exciting development. However, if you'd like to see more of this, go for it. In the meantime, we'll keep you updated on everything that happens. Next time Peace is on, we'll have more news.